Welcome back boys and girls and today I want to share with you how you can spend only 5 minutes of your time and $15 and turn your trigger into one of the best triggers out there. Oh yeah. Okay, now I'm going to try to replace the trigger spring on the AB3 and as I mentioned I got the spring kit, uh, yeah, just a spring from an M Carbo and what's great is that they also sent a small Allen wrench that can adjust the uh, uh, pre-travel in behind the trigger. So, all right. I hope I don't mess it up, but let's see. It shouldn't be too hard. So first, we're gonna release this here. Oh, but before that, let's get the ball down. So, This button it comes right off and leave the bolt right here and they should give good enough now let's I think it's easier if I remove the scope but you know I don't really feel like removing the scope right now so I'm gonna try with try to put the spring in there without actually removing the scope so again I hope I don't mess it up let's see So that screw goes in the front and this one longer one goes in the back so take this out take the trigger out okay that came off pretty easy now I'm just supposed to push this guy out and it's supposed to come right out Yeah, it's moving. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was easy enough. Okay. I don't know if you can see this or not, but right behind there is where the spring is. Right behind there. So I'm gonna be very careful not to disturb anything here because that could be a problem. Okay. Make sure the safety is in forward, which is fire. That way, that latches opens up right there. I don't know if you could see it, but that opens up so you can actually get your. I might have to get something more smaller to press it down. Okay, this is the old spring that came out. This is the spring that came with uh, AB3 and it, it's a little bit hard to compress and they're definitely thicker wires or springs. This is from N Carbo. It's definitely thinner and it compresses a lot easier. Okay, now I'm gonna try to install it again. If you look at this little nipple there, where you could set this spring. And now, 
I'm gonna get a flag of screwdriver. I have to press it in. Oh wow, that went really easy. It just popped right in. Okay, now that spring job was a lot easier than I thought, so I'm really happy about that. I'll put everything back together. Trying to put it in with a scope on is not easy. Okay, it's seated in pretty tight now. Okay, that was easy enough. Okay, and then I have to put the magazine frame in first. Now the shorter one in the front first. I'm not going to tighten it too tight for now. Where is my... There it is. Wrong one. Okay, I don't want to make it too tight for now. I'm just going to... Now by the end. Okay. And then the back goes in first and then the front. Get the longer screw. And then tighten that up again. I don't want to tighten too tight. I don't want to strip anything, but just nice and tight. Okay, there we go. That should be good enough. Okay, wow. My true spring job is already over. Okay, I'm going to put the bolt back in and see how the trigger feels. All right. Here we go. Let's try. Let's Oh wow, that really feels... That feels like about 2 and a half pounds, really. That really reduced the poundage on the pull for sure. Okay, I'm going to try to tighten up the free travel a little bit tighter because I, I still feel a bit of travel, so let's see. If I'm doing this thing right. See if it still works. Okay, I'm gonna try to compare with, uh, okay, this is empty. My weather because I love this trigger. That's how this feels. Wow, it's almost the same as my Weatherby. Okay, and then here is the AB3. Yeah, I mean, they're practically identical when it comes to tri uh, trigger for now. That, and this. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay, it's empty. I want to make sure this rifle is safe with a, a new trigger spring. So I'm going to kind of drop it on the floor, on, on the bus stop, 
carefully because I don't want to break my gun and then see if it, they would actually extend to the fire or not. Yeah, in my opinion, uh, replacing a trigger spring is not an actual safety issue because I'm banging it pretty hard. Yet, it didn't accidentally fire. And I have it on fire, not on safety. So, uh, it seems to be fine. Oh man, that trigger is really nice now. I could get used to this trigger. Yes, it's got an ugly trigger on it, but when you have that really sensitive trigger, I'm not complaining. All right, good deal. All right, 75 yards with super performance. The first shot was on the bullseye. Here was the second shot. That's tight. That's probably about uh, less than half inch for sure. They're both in both eyes. <laughs> Alright, I think I put a nice shot, so I'm gonna go for the fourth shot at 75. Oh, yeah, they're all touching the We are at 75 yards with a super performance. Right, let's see. Uh, that was my first shot, second shot, and then I pulled a third shot. So I went and took another shot, there's a fourth shot. So that's well, that's within an inch for sure. All right, here was the first shot at 100 yards. It's the same super performance. Oh, that's sweet. There was the second shot. Oh yeah, really tight. Here is the 100 yards. Okay, I know I put a lot of shot, but then they called for the ceasefire. So right there, that's my first shot and then second shot. And then I pulled that one, but you know, that's fine with me. And this is my Leaf Armor AR-10, 6.5 more at 100. So they're all shooting beautifully. And that's my Thompson Center Compass. Yeah, man. Good deal. If you have a rifle that has a really clean brake trigger, but a little bit on a heavier side, the same thing, you should really consider replacing just the spring. It cost less than $20 and maybe five minutes of your time. And trust me, you'll be very happy with it. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have. Enjoy your life with what you got. But mostly, Merry Christmas. And remember, Jesus came to save us, not to judge us. See ya.